The season six update is out today and we have brand new patch notes to go over, which includes a playlist update, fixes, and nerfs to the C4, amongst other things. This is in addition to all the new season six launch content and battle pass we covered in yesterday's video. As for the update, it is big, and to clarify the download sizes, they are on PlayStation 4, 19.3 gigabytes, Xbox One, 22.66 gigabytes, and PC, 57 gigabytes for Modern Warfare owners. And if you just have Warzone only, it's 25.5 gigabytes. However, console players will also need to download a compatibility pack and survival pack. On PlayStation 4, the compatibility pack is 7.8 gigabytes, and survival pack is 5.8 gigabytes. And for Xbox, it's 8 gigabytes and 5.9 for the survival. That means that for the PS4's final download size, it's 32.9 gigabytes, and Xbox is 36.56 gigabytes. So another big download file for this update. First, I know many of you hate videos that stretch out the info just to reach 10 minutes. I never make a video longer than is necessary, but my views take a big hit because of it. It will really help me out then if you like, comment, and share whatever you can. And most importantly, watch the entire video to help fight the pesky YouTube bots. Thanks guys. Let's jump into it then and we'll start with the playlist changes. To Modern Warfare, Grand War featuring the new map has been added. Gunfight Blueprint Camos. Face Off is in The Station, one of the new maps again. Kill Streak confirmed and the Season 6 Mosh Pit. And the playlist includes the other two remaining maps, Broadcast and Maelster Tank Factory. All four new maps then are playable in the update. Warzone, we are quads, trios, duos and solos and we have plunder trios and the new armored royal quads has also been added to the game. For patch notes we'll start with Warzone. Fixed a collision issue in the south corner of the stadium. Fixed for an issue where a fence with a white tarp over it near the hospital was allowing players to see through it on one side. Fixed an issue where on occasion the train would appear as white placeholder icon on the map implemented fixes to help properly track warzone wins, fixed a bug where players were unable to damage enemies with gunfire while on an ascender. If a player has their minimap set to not rotate, they will see inaccurate pings on the heartbeat sensor and that has been fixed. Fix for a rare issue where the train supply boxes could vanish during longer rounds. To weapons, and this is where the major changes really are for these patch notes, C4, a slight delay when performing a quick detonation has been added, a beep will now play it when a quick detonation is triggered. Also, they've reduced the throw initial velocity by 30%. So C4 has been nerfed. Personally, I didn't really have any issues with C4 being overpowered, but they have changed it. The Origin 12, they've reduced very close damage, but shotguns overall, they've increased damage of slugs in Warzone. To the Fin LMG, they've added a description in the gunsmith telling players that the XRK chainsaw attachment doesn't allow for weapon mounting of the gun and they've also increased brightness on the TAC laser attachment for the Finn LMG. For weapon fixes, for two issues where players watch and heartbeat sensor would not be entirely visible when using the XRK chainsaw attachment on the Finn LMG has been fixed. Fixed for a bug where explosive and thermite rounds do not function as intended on the chronic variant from the Blunt Force 2 bundle. Fixed an issue where the muzzle selection screen for the Finn LMG was hard to view in the gunsmith menu. Fixed an issue where the player's left hand would not properly grip the weapon when the 23 inch Romanian barrel is equipped on the AK. And lastly, fixed a few bugs where the prone hip fire view model positioning was not appearing as intended and could disappear in certain circumstances. To general fixes, fix for a bug where after reviving a teammate in survival, there will be a 5 second delay before the user is able to use their weapon again. Fix for an issue where players could obtain unlimited stopping power rounds. Fix for an issue where the defending player had a long respawn timer after the HQ was taken back and all players were dead while in headquarters match. And fix for an issue where it was possible to put a Molotov or grenade into a planted bomb causing it to kill the defusing player. Lastly a couple of PC changes, the Nvidia Reflex is now available in Call of Duty Modern Warfare including Warzone and will deliver latency improvements in GPU intensive gaming scenarios on the GeForce GTX 900 and higher graphic cards, plus as always improved stability and performance. But guys that is it for this one, all the patch notes in the Season 6 update and of course all the changes that were added in Season 6 like the new maps and the new battle pass and all this goes live later today at 11pm pacific time which is 7am in the UK tomorrow morning. Leave a comment down below and like and subscribe for more Warzone updates and I will see you guys next time.